Colorado's state mammal was on the brink of extinction about 140 years ago. Our senior reporter Tony Keith joining us in the studio after getting a firsthand look at just a piece of the conservation effort for bighorn sheep. Yeah, Bree, so a little background on them. Disease and market hunting, it took their toll on bighorn sheep more than a century ago. And when it comes down to it, Colorado Parks and Wildlife says a ban on market hunting for sheep in 1885 helped protect just a few hundred at the time. But in 1944, biologists started the process of capturing bighorn sheep and then relocating them here in Colorado. I had the chance to meet one of the people behind the process that you can see behind me that takes years of planning. In 2022, 21 bighorn sheep were captured and relocated by helicopter to help reestablish a herd in another part of the state. When this happens, sometimes they're taken by a trailer. But the process resulting in a capture like this takes much more than just one day. Meet Ty Woodward, a terrestrial biologist with Colorado Parks and Wildlife who grew up in Lamar on the southeast side of Colorado. From an early age, we, we spent all of our summers in the outdoors. and. I had a, a grandmother that was really good about making sure that my cousins and I all spent as much time as possible uh, running around fishing and, uh, and chasing lizards and catching snakes. A CC grad who obtained his master's at CSU Pueblo, I joined him on a trip west of Colorado Springs focusing on what leads up to capturing some of these bighorn sheep that are part of the rampart herd. Those operations we use to supplement existing herds of bighorn sheep around the state, but then also we use it for the establishment of new herds of bighorn sheep around the state. So really important um, practice that we do in Colorado, uh, very important for the uh, conservation yeah. of bighorn sheep on a statewide basis, but also uh, across North America. The process is one Woodward and others do for months leading up to a capture. It starts with some alfalfa. Well, they're all up top waiting for breakfast along with apple pulp. We then traveled up a private road highlighting the partnership CPW has with many community members. Establishing a new bait site is pretty complicated. Uh, this bait site here we've used for decades uh, and that's only been done through uh, the partnership with private landowners like the Flying W Ranch, which have allowed us to come up here and do this. Uh, and their history date ba dates back to the initiation of this herd and, and those first few sheep that, uh, that were released up here in the 40s. Um, and then they also are, are big supporters of continuing the conservation of the bighorn sheep here in Rampart. When we arrived at the site, the bighorns were waiting. A little bit of honking, calling down some others. It's a process that happens a few times each week, rain, shine, or snowstorm, while the sheep eat. Four. Five, Woodward and others are researching. So, um, the, the research or the data that we're collecting out here today, most of it goes back towards formulating our population estimates, estimates so we can keep an idea uh, of how that herd is growing. Now today we counted 49 bighorn sheep. They're all sitting behind me. Some days there's 50, 51, but the goal in a few weeks, put a big net above them, capture them, and take a small amount of them to another part of our state. We will be working to establish a new herd of sheep uh, with this, uh, this operation here in 2025. Um, cool part about this is these sheep are gonna go down to an area where there was a fire about 10 years ago. Uh, that fire came through, um, burnt the vegetation off of the mountainsides, and actually opened up new sheep habitat. It's work like this that has brought a species back from near extinction. As, as humans, uh, we're all kind of tied into this system uh, and, and seeing the health of these herds is an indicator of the overall health of that system. Um, having bighorn sheep, one, it's iconic because they're just regal creatures, but in, in addition to that, they are a state mammal as well. Um, they're also kind of emblematic of the state of Colorado and the rugged nature of this country. Now today there are about 80 herds in Colorado and 7,000 bighorn sheep. I had the chance to talk in depth with Woodward about classifying these animals and some history of the Rampart herd. Now it's a really interesting story. The Rampart herd behind me was actually a mistake, but I've got all the details of that history lesson on our website, KOAA.com. Very cool. Thank you, Tony. We have about 10 minutes left.